Welcome to Art with Miss Nine. Today we're making snail pictures. You can start by doing an outline of your snail and then think about what patterns you want to add to make it have a colorful shell. This one I did in crayons. Or you could do one with watercolor and crayons. I did this one by putting the crayons in the background first and the patterns and then watercoloring over top of it. I also thought about the time of day in this and I did this one at night. This one I did with a sunset in the background, so it was that evening time of night. And I put lots of colorful patterns in it. So no matter what snail you do, use lots of colorful patterns, think about what time of day it is, and of course, have some fun. So, let's make some art. Alright, so I'm going to show you how I would draw the easiest snail I could draw. I would actually take a lid, so grab a lid from something in your kitchen, and hold your finger down and trace around it. That gives you that circle shape. So snails have a shell, which is kind of a circle shape. This is one my grandson found out back. You can see that's where the body of the snail would come out and it kind of spirals upward. Uh, snails build their shells by eating themselves, by eating things with calcium, so they're nice and hard. Just like you might drink milk to make calcium in your body to make your bones nice and strong. So then I would start at the center and just kind of spiral around as big as you want or as many swirls and then come off into nothing. Then come up here and kind of make a little frown for the head. Come down around for the another little curve and then align this way for the body. Come from here and come taper off and then just join the head right up here. There you have your snail. Don't forget snails have their eyes way up here so draw some eyes up here. Snails are actually pretty blind, they can't see that well. And they use their tentacles, which are kind of like little whiskery things that grow off here, to actually feel their way. If you want your snail to be outside, crawling along in the grass, or if you want to put an abstract background, that's up to you. There's lots of different ways to draw this. You'll see that in the uh, lesson plan that I attached. I then, if you would want to outline it, you can outline it with a Sharpie, a marker, or a crayon. I'm not going to do all of it to save time. And then you want to start adding some patterns in to make it kind of a fun, fanciful snail. If you feel like making it more realistic, because you want to do this more as a study of a snail, you certainly may make it more realistic and look up pictures of snails. So you can take your markers, or you could even paint it with watercolor. It's up to you to fill up the background. This is another way to draw a snail. That was uh, in there. So I will show you how to draw this one. That one starts as kind of a big U, make a big U in the center and then come on the other side of that U and kind of come straight down with a curved line. Come on this side and come straight down like this for the body, so that kind of shape. And then put the shell on, so a big circle around and around like that. And then give them the little back part of the joint up there. Here's where the eyeballs would be. You can even give them lids if you want them to have eyelids on. Maybe a little frumpy snail and put him wherever you want him. He could be at the beach. We found ours down by the stream bank, the snail shell. So that's how you draw a snail. And then I will show you how to color them in with pattern. Okay, so I've added some pattern to my snail and I've decided I'm going to put them kind of on the sand at night. And since I'm going to be using watercolor with this and crayon, the crayon acts as a wax resist, so I'm going to color in my moon and put some stars in the sky for when I finish my picture. When I put the watercolor over the wax, the wax resists it, and you'll see the effect. We've done this before in art, so it's a technique you're familiar with. So I think I will start my snail with a fun color here. And I'm going to paint right over my watercolor, right over the paint, the, the crayon. 
rinsing in between colors. And you can see the wax resisting it. You can make it rainbow, any colors you want. Or like I said, more realistic looking like a snail. These are kind of fun, wacky snails. You might think I didn't draw anything here, but I did put white there. And you can see when I put the blue watercolor over top that it actually shows up. You might want to think about your colors before you put them over top. I think I just want this whole thing purple here because it looks kind of cool. So I went from blue into purple. Maybe down here I'll go from blue into green. Can make them a rainbow snail. And then I'm going to go into yellow. And now I'll go into some orange again. And then lastly into some red watercolor. And don't forget to paint your, or use crayons on that. So my sky now, if I wanna mix up a nice bluey purple color for my sky, I'm gonna refrain from putting black in it because sometimes that just gets too Mucky. You'll see when I put it across, the stars come out. And for the sake of time, I'm not going to finish this whole painting. Look, that's too purple, so I need more blue. You're probably all saying to me right now. So I'm moving that up there like that. And blending out. If you get little lines like this, you can always put more water on and kind of blend them out a bit as you go. And I'll show you my finished piece. So you can do yours with crayons and watercolor. You could do it with just crayons. You could do it with colored pencils. This one was done with markers. I might add some paint to the background. So it's been great drawing with you. So let's make some art.